in the woods during the conflict prior to me me hitting Freddie. I felt like the whole area, the physical arena, was physically changing or morphing. And do you feel that was coming from Freddie the Bean or some device he had? The, the bracelet was gone. It, it had to come from something else, I guess. Well, I, I think that at that moment wasn't Freddie the, the Bean. I think it possibly was the process of him starting to shift into another dimension, which I think was not, it is not a simple action of the being itself. I think the being is interacting with a mechanism or another entity that I will call another mechanism, which may be the obelisk, the black shaped craft, which was, you know, some 75 feet away. Um, I think the process had begun and I interrupted it because, and, and as I walked into this arena, as I literally lunged forward, I felt like I had become part of that moving transition. So you perceived his shaking to stop although it may have been you that was changing state. Exactly. As I entered his arena, maybe I from the outside of that arena would have appeared to be shaking also. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go back to the, the communications with Freddie at your house. Were there any other sessions as profound as the one you've described? There were numerous ones that profound more profound, and I hesitate to talk about them at this point because of what their meanings may be misunderstood. I am trying to go through the process to evaluate from a middle standpoint and, and, and understand some of the information that I've been given without misunderstanding it. It would be so easy to take some of this information and, and misrepresent what he was doing. Some people might say, oh, well, that was a hostile act, you know, what he was transferring information to you. I don't believe that. I believe he could have at any time totally, physically taken me out. But he felt, I think, some empathy for my remorse, both in the loss of Susie, which I do believe he didn't understand until he started this communication, and then he was extremely intrigued by my feelings for something else, my own love or, or compassion for something else, and, and that's what I got the feeling from Freddie but he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to, to have these kind of feelings. And he was truly embracing his moments with me because he'd never had this before. Almost like as if we would go and get drunk on something that we only had heard about and never had the opportunity to really experience. And now he had this ability, and he was sucking in every drop he could get, but in a respectful way. I mean, I think he really felt as if he admired the ability to have the feelings that we have. One of the things that's, that's really a problem in, in, in this area is misinterpretation of information and uh, disinformation and so uh, Jonathan is, is really practiced an extreme amount of uh, patience because there is so much involved here it's very complex do you think that this knowledge that you possess is one of the reasons that you're still being pursued yes I do and I think there is there, there are those who think that I have possibly a game plan that could 
aid them in making some military decisions based on possibly my communications with this entity. Do you think there's any credence to that, that idea or is that uh, a misconception of what that experience was all about? I think it's a misunderstanding. I think, I think the people that are hounding me are doing it in a twofold reason. Number one, they physically think I am still associated with the hardware, the artifact, and that I have the ability to immediately retrieve it or that I still have it in my possession, which I don't. And I think at the other side of that coin, they think that the value of the information that's in my head is, in fact, tremendously valuable. Um, I would agree that it has a tremendous value, but only if it's understood. And potentially used correctly? Exactly. Not only used, but used in the sense of understanding. If, if we don't speak a language, and we only get bits and pieces of it, it's so easy to misunderstand what is truly meant, what is truly said. And when you wrap into this whole scenario with the fact that we're dealing with an intelligence that I believe is far superior to ours, even though I got the feeling that Freddy was on the low end of the totem pole in his world. I believe Freddy was a drone, a worker. I believe he was engineered to survive in our atmosphere and to do a job like a surveyor would do. To go out and do some research physically in our world and not have to suffer the environmental problems that we might if we went to the moon or Mars and have to wear all of this apparatus. Did you get that impression from Freddy or did something happen later to give you that feeling? Well, I've, I've gotten that impression from several things. Not some of it being from Freddy himself uh, in, in specifics that Freddy had a job to do and that he was doing his job. In other words, he wasn't out to hurt me. He was doing his job. He was simply doing a task that was his duty, not duty in the sense of a military duty, but his life's duty. This was all he did. As, as in a, a bee, in a beehive, has a job to do. But we're not even sure what that job was. We're not, but I have some speculations on that from some of the images that I believe I have gotten. Is there anything you care to share at this time? Well, I, I truly believe that we are, we as in the inhabitants of this Earth, this planet, this vehicle, are on some kind of clandestine journey, passing through time and space in the, the machinery of the universe. If we think of, of the universe and, and the solar systems as mechanisms, as a clock, and everything is moving in conjunction with each other, that we're all spiraling toward certain unforeseen destinies. And I don't want to make this sound like, you know, I have the answers, because I don't. I have bits and pieces. But I do believe that there is a situation on our horizon, on our near horizon, that they are truly invested in invested from the standpoint that they have a stake in this planet and in the value of possibly the human beings. But not a value as in harvesting a sheep or for food or for warriors or soldiers to fight their battles. Possibly in the ability 